What's up guys, welcome back to another electric skateboard video. Today we are diving into the Maker X series of VESC options. So I know a lot of you guys are upgrading boards or you're building one for the first time and the VESC or the speed controller is like the first thing you guys wanna pick out, but you're not sure which one to go for because there are a handful of options that all look very, very similar. And physically they're almost all identical, but what's under the hood is what's a little different. And we're gonna dive into all the differences between the DV4, the DV6, and the D100. Okay, so let's jump right into it. First things first, there are a handful of things different about the size. Now they're almost identical, but there is a slight variation in the size. It shouldn't probably matter to your build. If this size difference matters to you, you're working with probably very, very tight spaces. So either way, this shouldn't matter too much, but the DV4S is 90 by 60 by 20 millimeters, which is the same as the DV6. And then the D100 is 101 by 65 by 20. So just slightly bigger um, on the length and the width for the D100, but the DV4 and the DV6 are the same. Now, when it comes to actually mounting this uh, ESC into your enclosure, most of us use 3M tape, but if you do have a heat sink and you wanna make sure that it's compatible, the screw hole patterns are different. So the DV4S and the DV6 are the same at 33 by 90 millimeters, and they're both M3 tapped holes in the bottom of the speed controller. And then the D100 is 30 by 95. Again, probably not too much of a worry, but you do want to keep an eye on that if you are planning on buying an aftermarket heatsink of any kind. Uh, now it comes to weight, they are all very negligible, 238, 250, and 330. If this matters to you, I don't know what you're building, but anyways, uh, that's the weight for you, just in case you're interested at all. And then max voltage here, uh, the DV4S is 12S, the DV6S is 12S, and then the D100 is 20S. So if you are planning on building anything over 12S, then D100 is your guy. Otherwise, we'll dive into more of the differences between the DV4 and DV6S in a, in a second. Now, moving on, our max battery amps. This is something you definitely wanna keep uh, in mind, the DV4S is 80 amps each side. Again, that's each motor can, or each side of the ESC can pull 80 amps or 160 amps total. The DV6 can do 100 amps each side or 200 amps total. And then the same thing goes for the D100. Uh, so anyways, battery max, keep in mind that is each side and total. So that's something that sometimes people get confused, but hopefully that helps you there. All right, moving on, we've got the max motor amps. This is the fun one usually. So um, we want always are trying to push more and more amperage to our motors. And so here are the numbers for you. So the DV4S can do 100 amps each motor for 200 amps total. Uh, the DV6 can do 180 amps each motor for 360 amps total. And then the D100 can do 200 amps and 400 amps total. So that's absolute peak max amperage. Um, continuous is a little bit lower, but that's the absolute max there. So if you are trying to push your motors really hard, this is something definitely you'd want to consider. Now the VESC hardware is just pretty much the hardware platform that this is based on. So like um, the version or the hardware version of VESC, it is an open, open source platform technically. So they are basing it off of different VESC versions. So anyway, so the VESC uh, DV4 is based on VESC4, the DV6 is based on VESC6, and the D100 is based on VESC100-250. So that may not mean a lot to you guys, but for anyone who really does know or really cares, there you go. I'll say all three of these units have been great. They are all very reliable, regardless of the version or hardware version of this uh, of, the, of the hardware itself. So again, they've all been really good. Okay, but that brings us down to which one is right for you. It, it does matter, right? So depending on your build, um, here's, how I do, here's how I look at it. If you are obviously at anything higher than 12S, right? So if you're rocking a 14S build, so for example, our Interstellar 2.0 Plus, our Endurance 2.0 Plus, both of those are 14S batteries. We have no option, a D100 it is for us. Now the DV4 and the DV6 are all are both 12S and lower. So here's how you choose which one you'd go for in that case. So anytime we're using pretty standard, like off the shelf motors, we go for the DV4 because it handles our motors perfectly. The motors aren't, aren't needing a ton of power. Um, but anytime we're doing performance motors, that's when we wanna go for a DV6. So let me pull up that uh, max that max motor amperage one more time here for us. So this is where it matters. Simply running motors that are only pulling like 60 to 70 amps a piece, that's perfect. 
obviously up to 100 amps. But for those of us who are switching over to a more uh, performance motor, like the Reacher motors that are pushing 120, 150 amps, that is where that 180 amp max for each motor really comes into play. So that's really the main things, right? So either if you're using lower tier motors and a 12S, go DV4. If you're using a higher tier motor and 12S, go DV6. And if you're 12, uh, if you're higher than 12S, go D100. Those are the main reasons why I go for each one. And um, that's the broad overview of the differences for each of these units. So hopefully that helps you choose which unit you'd like to go with. Um, anyways, if you have any questions, please drop a comment down below. We're very active in the comment section uh, and hit that subscribe button for more videos. We usually have two videos a week plus a podcast on Saturdays. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one. Dip. Yeah.